Today we'll be uh, learning about the corridor modeling. So basically, your corridor modeling will cover. Uh, it's a most important part of your uh, highway design or uh, any roadway design which you are going to uh, up for using open road designer because uh, the typical cross sections uh, which you need to apply over your uh, horizontal alignment. So we create a typical cross sections right over here in the template creation window. So uh, on the day one, we have learned about terrain and it's some tools. And then yesterday we uh, learned about geometry and general tools, horizontal uh, tools related to horizontal geometry as well as vertical geometry. And then we have seen how table editor works. Now, uh, since we are in the open roads modeling workflow, uh, okay, so we need to now click over the, the corridor modeling tab. So basically, this tab is going it's cover it covers uh, separate sections to create our terrain sorry to create our uh, typical cross sections as well as to edit them and the most important part on the right hand side if you can see we do have an option for applying our super elevation and create lanes and within this only uh, we have review section under which we can cut our dynamic sections as well as see our uh, corridor quantity reports and 3d drives too so let us start with the creation of template. So I will repeat in Open Road Designer, this template word means uh, it's your uh, typical cross section and your corridor is a collection of templates. So at every different changes, suppose you are having um, 50, 60 kilometer highway length and you are having four to five different typical cross sections and you need to place at different start and end changes. So for that, you are going to assemble all your templates uh, um, within a single corridor so there will be a single corridor for your uh, center line geometry which will be uh, encasing or um, covering up your all your templates okay with different start and end changes so let's quickly go to create template and uh, under this uh, we have our drop down menu if you can see a uh, rainbow color template uh, tcs with the hammer sign over it this is the icon for your template so when when i click create template now i am into a separate template creation window so basically this is a template creation window if you can see um, before uh, coming to actual uh, creating and drawing your templates uh, all of you who are in the call or who are attending this um, must be very familiar with your in the school times they might have used the graph paper and uh, might be familiar with the word like uh, quadrant so it's a you can imagine just like uh, to simplify for you you can imagine it's a digital graph paper over which you are going to draw your templates uh, using a simple mathematical algebra okay so uh, if you can see the this is a two lane template uh, which uh, we have drawn over this graph temp uh, over this digital graph paper with having its uh, y-axis as well as the uh, x-axis and uh, origin at the zero comma zero so before uh, actually drawing just have a look over the on the left hand panel so this is a, a template creation window which uh, i am working apart from this my main design so whatever you are going to uh, draw or whatever the tcs suppose you are having two two three typical cross sections different so you can have you can draw uh, different pieces right over here and they can be categorized into different folders and subfolders so there are by default many templates available so we can even use them and modify them and then use in our uh, as per our required projects so let's have a look uh, within templates if i drop down this so under the rural section or or even the urban under the rural, under the asphalt, uh, if you open the undivided, then you have two lane templates. Just you need to double click over that. So there are two lane templates, then two lane with guardrail and two lanes plus turn rail. So likewise, you are going to get many by default templates, which can be used directly. And under divided, suppose you need a four lane and four lane inside edge. 
so there are many templates by default available and uh, also not even the templates uh, so components such as uh, if you can see these green lines uh, projecting out basically these green lines are nothing let me have a clearer look by uh, switching off their names so this is a four lane uh, template and these green lines are basically your cut and fill slopes basically so why there are multiple not single this question may arise because uh, we have kept as an option so this template creation is uh, is smart enough to snap your ground as as your ground profile is going to move uh, it will catch up uh, that particular slope line according to the graph so that will be coming later on okay so uh, let us quickly create a new template under ruler itself under undivided so for creating a new template just simply right click over the folder and click uh, new and go to templates and you can give any name uh, in the same uh, template uh, on which this red enclosing this square box there's a square block box on the icon of template so this uh, uh, this defines me that i am working within the same uh, template so selection doesn't matter if i suppose i have clicked my mouse here but i i have not clicked double click but still the red box is in front of my day 3 webex so whatever thing i'm going to change cut copy paste this template is going to uh, take place means uh, either copy or cut so, so this is my active template right now and if you can see this uh, violet checkbox in this black and some grid lines in uh, green so this is basically my digital graph paper over which i am going to draw my template draw my layers uh, in a very simple mathematical algebra nothing going into any sort of uh, big or complex things it's a very very simple so before proceeding uh, what i need to do i need to uh, draw one layer okay so the best practice i will also tell uh, the what are the best practice and there there can be many ways to draw your template it's not that uh, you are referring or what i'm trying to uh, uh, explain today so you will get to know about the fundamentals and later on you can um, take your own way to draw any template so to first place any component simply right click and there is a add new component and then within this you are going to find um, many uh, options so if you need to place a simple layer uh, layer component basically or the top layer suppose uh, if you talk about the, the top layer is a bituminous concrete so select simple and now uh, note that uh, there is a pointer uh, there is a component attached with my mouse pointer and my mouse pointer is towards the green plus which is on the left top of my component so rest others are red in color and this is green in color so green means a floating floating point basically my, this component is having four points in the extreme and one point is free the, so you can pen down or note this thing so point which is free is always green in color and the point uh, which are having certain constraints so what are basically constraints uh, constraint means uh, how that point is linked to another point so within this component uh, my all the three points are dependent over each other or on this green point basically it's the uh, green point only over which all my three points are available so i'm just going to simply snap to my center since i'm not getting the snapping so there is a quick uh, step up step tool available here so you can set your uh, step settings within this dynamic settings window so i can type in 0 0.01 in the x as well as in the y so that i can easily snap uh, within the graph paper now you can see uh, i can snap to the center and place my component point to be noted i have placed my component using this uh, green with the point which is free to move so always remember the green point signifies it can be moved anywhere as well as uh, the red are dependent on other points so red has certain constraints so what can be the constraint if you just imagine uh, i have placed uh, i am making a one side of road just imagine uh, there is a your tcs you are going to draw your TCS, but you are going to work 
on one side because your TCS is homogeneous and uh, symmetrical along the center line. If it had not been symmetrical, then you need to create separately. But let us consider uh, my I'm having a tool in highway which is uh, same in the LHS as well as in the RHS. So instead of making both, I will just simply create one side either LHS or RHS and then simply uh, join the other by mirroring it and uh, joining all.